The top nightly anti-wrinkle treatment is cheap, safe and backed by decades of clinical research. In this video I'll explain what this treatment is, the recent advances that have made it even better and show you the evidence that it works. Plus I'll walk you through my simple nightly skincare routine that you can use to help keep your skin healthy and youthful. But before we dive in, let's unravel the real reason why our skin ages, because it's not what most people think and understanding it is key to unlocking youthful skin. So it's natural to assume that as we get older, our skin starts to age along with the rest of our body and there's nothing that we can do about it. That's partly true and scientists call this intrinsic aging. It's part of the natural process that happens inside of all of us. But there's more going on. Other factors can have a dramatic impact on how quickly our skin shows signs of aging and how obvious those signs will be. So we use the term extrinsic aging to describe these changes to our skin that are due to additional causes. And no, the gel I'm referring to in this video is not sunscreen. Smoking, for instance, can increase skin aging. One meta-analysis concluded that there is a strong link between how much a person has smoked and how wrinkled their skin becomes. The same study found that diet matters too, showing that eating healthier foods is associated with less severe aging of the skin. But the biggest contributing factor to aging of our skin appears to be how much we're exposed to sunlight. The effects are called photo-aging. Consider this dramatic photo of a truck driver who constantly had the sun shining on one side of his face for years. And it's not just among older adults. One Australian study found significant premature aging of skin exposed to the sun was present in 14% of those under 30 years of age in that study. So what's going on here? Why is the sun so harmful? Well, sunlight has ultraviolet rays that damage our skin by breaking down collagen, which is the part of our skin that keeps it strong and elastic, and it damages the DNA of our cells. Think of sunlight as a high-powered laser that hits your skin and breaks down the sensitive cellular machinery responsible for keeping our skin strong and healthy. The result is skin that increasingly loses its elasticity, moisture and thickness and it leads to wrinkles. Sun exposure also leads to age spots, uneven coloration and the appearance of tiny red blood vessels called telangiectasias. The loss of collagen is especially important and the sun's effects build on the natural decline in collagen production as we age. These powerful negative effects of the sun's rays are the reason why wearing adequate sunscreen during the day and limiting our exposure are crucial. But even when we're careful, some breakdown of our collagen and with it, our skin's youthfulness is inevitable because of both intrinsic and extrinsic aging. Yet there is something that we can do about it, slowing and actually reversing the signs of aging. And this brings us to the surprisingly cheap and powerful treatment I want to tell you about. The medication is a form of a vitamin that's essential to human health. Several decades ago, doctors used it to first treat acne. Later, they noticed that it also reduced wrinkles and improved skin tone. So how does it work? Well, remember that one of the key reasons for aging of our skin is the breakdown of collagen, which happens because of both damage from sunlight and as a natural result of aging. This medication addresses the problem in two ways. First, it blocks the breakdown of collagen by the sun's UV rays, and second, it helps to stimulate the creation of new collagen. So these two effects work together to push back powerfully against the aging of our skin. So what is this impressive medication? Well, it's actually a group of compounds called retinoids, which are related to vitamin A. So think of retinoids like personal trainers for our skin cells. Just like a trainer helps you get stronger, retinoids push you your skin cells to work harder, helping them renew and make more collagen. Retinoids also strengthen the skin's protective barrier, reducing water loss and stops enzymes that breaks down our skin support structure. So there are several different types of retinoids, and the more recent ones have got some exciting advances that I want to tell you about in a minute. But first, let's look at the oldest and most widely studied retinoid, tretinoin. Tretinoin was first used to treat acne in the 1960s, but patients and their doctors soon started to notice that it seemed to improve the appearance of skin in general, especially helping with the signs of aging. So in the early 90s, it was approved by the FDA to treat fine lines and uneven coloration from skin damage. Plenty of research has shown its effectiveness, and one massive meta-analysis looked at 180 individual studies on tretinoin, and it reported that topical use improved the signs of photoaging in terms of wrinkling, uneven coloration and age spots in as little as one month of use. But how significant could the improvement be? Well, one case study included these two images of a 66-year-old woman. 
The first shows the appearance of her skin before the treatment, and the second shows how it looked after three months of using tretinoin, and the difference is striking. But when first using tretinoin, it can irritate the skin and cause redness and dryness, and this drawback led to the development of what's called third-generation retinoids, which carry a distinct advantage. These new retinoids, they act on our skin in a highly targeted way. It's like using a scalpel to make precise cuts instead of a hammer that affects a wide area. This means that they cause less irritation. So adapalene is the most commonly used third-generation retinoid. But does that mean we have to sacrifice on effectiveness? Well, a head-to-head -head trial in 2018 set out to see if the newer generation adapalene worked as well as the older, proven tretinoin. The results? Well, the study authors concluded that adapalene was just as effective as tretinoin in terms of treating the signs of skin aging. So how much do you have to pay to access these remarkable treatments and where can you find them? Let's start with tretinoin. In most places, you'll need a prescription for it, so your costs will depend on which country you live in and what insurance might cover and other factors. But note that the reason why your doctor prescribes tretinoin can matter for how your insurance handles it. For instance, they might pay 100% if it's prescribed for acne. But just to give you a general idea, you can grab a month's supply of tretinoin with a prescription on Amazon right now for just $20 without insurance. So that's less than a dollar a day for clinically proven reductions in the signs of skin aging. With adapalene, it's a bit more complicated. In the US and here in New Zealand, you can buy adapalene at the 0.1% concentration without a prescription. Amazon has it for just $12. But for the stronger 0.3 concentration, which was the strength compared to tretinoin in that 2018 study I mentioned a moment ago, you'll need a prescription. So you might be wondering, how much of a difference will it make whether I use the 0.1% or 0.3% adapalene? Well, the truth is we don't have sufficient clinical evidence right now to say for sure. One study found that adapalene gel at both the 0.1% and 0.3% improved the appearance of sun-damaged skin, but the study didn't investigate the difference in strength of effect between the two concentrations. The stronger concentration might be a better choice if you can get it and if your skin tolerates it. Intuitively, a higher dose of the active ingredient should lead to a greater effect. And I know some of you are probably wondering right now about all of the other products on the market that contain retinol and promise to improve the appearance of skin wrinkles. Are they as effective? Well, I can't speak to every product out there, but the answer is usually no. The reason has to do with the specific forms of retinoids used, which aren't nearly as strong as the retinoids we've discussed. One study investigated a class of products called cosmeceuticals and found the evidence for their use as weak. In contrast, we have strong evidence for the effectiveness of both tretinoin and adapalene. Okay, so we've gone through what retinoids are, how they help improve the signs of skin aging and how much they cost, but how do we use them for maximum effectiveness? I'm going to share with you my personal routine based on both the research and clinical experience. First, it's important to note that it's recommended to use retinoids at night before bed because they can cause irritation and increase sensitivity to the sun. Plus, retinoids can degrade in sunlight, making them ineffective. So I always use sunscreen during the day along with retinoid treatment at night. Also, retinoid use is not recommended during pregnancy. The most common side effects for retinoids are symptoms like dryness and redness, and patients usually experience these most strongly when first beginning retinoids. These effects usually fade with time as our skin gets used to it, and for this reason I always have my patients to start slowly with retinoids, use the lower dose and only apply the retinoids every third or fourth day and slowly build up. In New Zealand, we don't have the highest strength 0.3% adapalene, so I use tretinoin. I apply it daily and my skin tolerates it well. And I build on the effects of retinoids by adding lactic acid and glycolic acid to my routine. Over time, these exfoliants, they affect the deeper layers of the skin and reduce wrinkles. They help collagen and elastin to grow again, making fine lines less noticeable. These recommendations are based on studies like this one using lactic acid and it increased skin firmness, thickness and improved smoothness as well as the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Now, lactic acid and glycolic acid, they're called alpha hydroxy acids, but there's also beta hydroxy acids like salicylic acid. Both alpha and beta hydroxy acids, they help to remove dead skin cells and promote skin renewal. 
So on Monday and Thursday nights, in addition to the retinoid creams, I apply both alpha and beta hydroxy acids and leave them on overnight. Now for most people at my clinic, we recommend against using retinoid creams at the same time as these exfoliants because it can significantly inflame the skin. For whatever reason, my skin seems fine with it, so I use the retinoids every night, but again, it's not standard practice to mix retinoids with hydroxy acids. And another thing to note is that retinoids, they don't work instantly. It does take several months to reach the full effect. And in addition to creams, I use collagen peptides to help further support the collagen in my skin. And I also take hyaluronic acid, 200 milligrams, as part of microvitamin. But just because I take a supplement in no way means that you should as well. But what you do during the day is even more important than what you do at night in terms of your skin health. So make sure to check out this next video here to discover the world's best strategy for maintaining youthful skin.